I'm jumping on my own. What? Alright, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real, the place where I try to replicate the claims of the supernatural with my very natural skills. Today, today, oh today, one more time, today, it's a good one, because today I'm going to show you the most epic car trick I have ever done in my life and the reason for it is because i want to talk to you about presentation or at least what we as magician call as presentation which is key to make your magic trick the most convincing the most compelling and the most entertaining and the reason why i want to talk about it here on this channel is because since i watched the documentary superhuman i, I did a video a couple weeks ago i put the link down below you should definitely go check out my review of this documentary uh, so this is a documentary made by uh, carolyn corey which apparently gives you evidence of the supernatural and a lot of people have watched this documentary and told me like yeah those are good evidence they are not but there's one thing that kept on bugging me until today which is why are some claims of the supernatural or better why are certain people claiming to have supernatural ability more convincing or more capable to convince people that they have disabilities compared to others why are certain evidence more compelling why are certain people better are selling you know better and make you believe that they have these abilities and the answer is presentation so let me try to explain to you exactly what i mean by presentation and why is the key for this type of stuff and of course i'm gonna do it by doing a magic trick but first let me talk to you about adrenaline when you have like a burst of adrenaline when you when your brain goes into flight or fight mode you almost become superhuman as in like there's stories of people who got this burst of adrenaline and suddenly they were capable of doing things that would never be able to do some of them are kind of made up but some of them are actually true it is true the burst of adrenaline like literally pumps your blood more literally makes you stronger for just that little moment so i thought adrenaline does have this kind of power quote unquote that will make you again quote unquote superhuman so let me tell you something one of the highest bursts of adrenaline that i ever had in my life was when i did the, my very first bungee jumping out of one of the highest bridge you can bungee from which is here in south africa and just so you know what i'm talking about i'm gonna show you the footage of what happened that day and how crazy high this bridge is tequila shot <laughs> I'm so scared <laughs> my Woo. goodness I'm only focusing on the camera right now because <laughs> so at least I get distracted the shot of tequila is out of my system already I'm not even joking. After I did that, I was so excited. I, I had so much adrenaline that I went in withdrawal the next day. I was literally sick. That's how excited I got. And then I thought, man, if it's true that adrenaline can give you this like, you know, fight or fight mode can get you like, like stronger, you know, that adrenaline almost gives you superpower. I thought, why not do an experiment? I know that doing that bungee jumping means that I'm gonna get a burst of adrenaline that's gonna just make me not just stronger, but just like better. Like it's not just your muscle get stronger but your brain also so I thought why not just do an experiment why not go and do the bungee jumping again knowing that adrenaline is gonna just spike in my body and see if that adrenaline can make my brain so strong that I could do the most epic car trick ever made by trying to guess which card you are thinking of at home right now so let's just Give it a shot. All right, guys, I'm gonna need you to focus up on one card and one card only is gonna go really fast. Pay attention. Right? All right, you have one card and one card only in your mind and I'm gonna try to figure out which one it is, but I need some adrenaline going. I need, I need, I need yes, I cannot do it right here. I need something that's to click in my brain. I need to scare myself, so let's go.
Did I do it? Did I guess it? Did I guess your car correctly? You can let me know in the comment section if I got your car correctly. I have a feeling that I should have gotten 50% of you with the with that correct card or even a little bit more than that. And honestly, let's be honest. Most of you probably already know what's going on. Most of you probably already know how I did it. If not, I'm going to explain to you in a few seconds. But first of all, a big thank you and shout out to Face Adrenaline, which is the place where you can do the bungee. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video. I just want to say that they're amazing. They let me film twice. They are super friendly. They make sure that it's a good vibe because trust me, standing on that bridge is just... <sighs> It's nerve wracking. So, you know, they play music, they dance, they make sure it's a good vibe. The, the whole experience is just like fantastic. So if you ever find yourself, uh, you know, in any other location of Face Adrenaline, you will know that it's gonna be a great experience. Anyway, what I wanna talk about today was like presentation. Like basically the whole narrative is this. I need to jump off a bridge because I need a burst of adrenaline. Why do I need a burst of adrenaline? Because adrenaline will make me a superhuman, will make my brain work faster, will make everything go better. Therefore, I should be able to read everybody's mind across you know whatever it is that you are this is the setup this is the presentation so what I'm trying to say today in this very weird and chaotic video is that the people that I feel like are the most successful at selling this idea of supernatural ability existing are the people who are the best at presentation they are the one who can have like the first like you know point A point B and point C something that follows, something that makes sense, something that we have evidence for it. And then suddenly at the last moment, throw in one thing that it's just a conclusion, it's just speculation, it's just sometimes it's something that, that they don't have any way to connect it to the rest, but it's too late if you were following along already. The best way to lie is to sprinkle some truths here and there, you know, just a smidgen of truths here and there. You shouldn't even feel bad if you get fooled by this specific method of like presenting something. Like, believe me, this is a concept that we magicians know really well. Your brain needs solutions and your brain needs solutions fast. So it would think of the first things that make sense at that moment, no matter how absurd it is, but it needs a solution. Okay, let me put it this way. See, I have a card right here. Boom. Now your brain is like, oh, that card was there, now it's, it's not there anymore. That means it has disappeared. It's the easiest, it's most simple solution. This is where your brain needs to go right now. Then you can do your research and find out that it's just behind my hand. But like at first impact, if I do this, your brain will connect that the card was there, it's not there anymore, therefore it has disappeared. Your brain needs a solution immediately. And it will go to the first and most simple solution it can find. It's okay if, if at first impact you get fooled by this stuff. I mean, if it's a magic show, you'd be like, whatever. They're tricks, they're supposed to fool me. I know that there's nothing supernatural happening, so I'll be fine. Once you, once the magic show is done, you go home, you have a laugh and you forget it. But when someone is trying to convince you, like for example, if someone is like, hey, Albert Einstein, you know, Albert Einstein, he said that quantum physics, it's some spooky action at the distance that goes faster than the speed of light. And then he goes like, that actually kind of explains telekinesis and your brain jumps to the most logical conclusion which is like oh Albert Einstein said that it's a spooky action at a distance that we can explain that's telekinesis yeah it makes sense no it doesn't but that's the point like you just arrive at the most simple conclusion because you need time to process you need time to do research and that's what you should do when someone makes a claim like that you should also try to figure out why was I wearing a jacket in the shot before and I'll probably be wearing one again later it is not because I screw up with this video and I just realized now that I'm refilming something while not wearing a jacket but it's because it's spooky action at a distance you know quantum physics. And by the way, Einstein was wrong about quantum physics. Yes, that's also a fact. And even if he was right, even if this is a spooky action at a distance, we still have no evidence whatsoever that our consciousness or our brain have any effect on the result on a, of a quantum experiment. So yeah, it does not explain telekinesis. Take my trick, for example. It has nothing to do with adrenaline whatsoever. And I could do the same thing without jumping off a bridge. I just wanted to create this kind of narrative because I thought it would be entertaining to watch because in reality, all I did wasn't mind reading. It wasn't adrenaline spike superpower. It was what is called a card force and it's it's a force like i'm not even i'm not even like worried that if i reveal the secret i'm gonna get in trouble because it's a, you can find a tutorial for this force it, like everywhere this card force is so overused that it is actually in the beginning of the movie now you see me i can tell you really quickly how it works basically when i refill my cards i hold one second longer or 
maybe even less than one second longer on the card that I want to force you, which means that that's most likely the only card that you will be able to see when I riffle really fast. And if you want to know exactly how to develop this technique, if my fingers are very trained, I could tell you, yes, that I spent 20 years to train my fingers to be so precise that I know exactly which card I want to stop for just like one second. And again, presentation is the key because I just lie to you. Here's how it works. You need to pick the card that you want to force. The seven of clubs, right? And then all you got to do is that the card before the seven of clubs needs to be a little bit shorter. Now, I don't want to cut this because it's a deck that I like and I don't want to ruin it. But like, let me show you. So let's say I want to force the seven of clubs, right? All I need to do is that the card before the eight of clubs, I'm just going to position it like that. So it is slightly almost as if I cut it. All right, I don't know if you can see it from there, but like basically if you have a card that's slightly shorter than the other ones, you create a gap, which means that if I scroll now, it's very easy for me to stop exactly at the card that I want you to see and then continue riffle. See, look at this. It's like I don't have, I don't have to train my finger for train years. I just have to like, I just have to practice a few times so it's not too obvious, you know, like because if you go like, it's a bit too obvious. So you just have to practice like, Hold it just enough so that it's the only card to register in, on people's brain. See, there isn't anything supernatural happening. There isn't any special training that I've done with my finger. It's just simple mechanics with 52 pieces of cards. Mind reading is something that I like to do a lot. I mean, I like to, magicians. Any magicians has at least one mind reading trick. If you're a mentalist, it's your entire act. And mind reading is something that most people enjoy. So much so that the other night I was at a comedy club and uh, I decided, I don't know where, that I wanted to do a little bit of mind reading because why not? Not, and this is kind of what happened. Watch. Do, do me a favor, Rashi. Take off the jokers because there'll be no jokers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. All right. You want to give it another shuffle? You happy with that? Oh, wow. Okay. Ne definitely not going to play poker with you ever. All right. Let's do this. You can give it back to me. That's fine. You, you're happy that it's shuffle and everything. And it was actually a good shuffle. Um, let's try this. Uh, put, put your arm out like this. Hold this mic. And now you're a mic stand. <laughs> there you go. All right, so you shuffle it. You're happy with the shuffle, OK? I'm going to give it another shuffle, but I want you to say stop whenever you want. Stop. Dave, OK. Look at this. Memorize it. Keep it in your brain. Don't forget it. Just keep it in your brain. Now what I need you to do is that I need you to keep repeating it over and over and over. Just keep repeating the numbers over and over and over and over and over. Okay. You know, there's only 52 cards in the deck. Why? Why? 69, 69, why? Just, no. <laughs> none of that, none of that. Get, get your head Just keep repeating it. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Was there Ace of Cups? Well done. <laughs> I did not read that man's mind. I did, you guessed it, a card force. Which card force? I can teach you actually on, on if you join my Patreon, I will teach you my favorite, all of my favorite card forces and my favorite mind reading effect. And uh, yeah, this is if, if you wanna join my Patreon. There's also other stuff on my Patreon. There's a bunch of pretty much every effect that I perform on this channel, I will teach you on my Patreon. So trust me, it will be worth it. Also, you know, if you wanna just like support this project, I, I, would, I would appreciate it. And uh, you know, if the magic tricks are a bit too expensive, like you can join the lower tier on my Patreon, which is going to have a little bit extra content from this video that you're watching right now and uh, a bunch of bloopers and, you know, just fun stuff. Just go, just go, just just go do it. You know what? If you if you're that cheap person who doesn't even want to join my Patreon, you can at least subscribe. That's free. The subscribe button is free. Come on, subscribe right now. How about this? If I guessed your card doing my bungee jumping, you subscribe. Deal? Deal? Come on. Come on. How about this? If I even if I didn't guess <laughs> You subscribe to the channel. And I hope that what I did today was a good explanation and a good example for you to be more careful. Even something that starts as true could be just a tactic to get you to believe the most nonsense thing ever. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I want you to, of course, write adrenaline in the comment section if you're here. I just, I just need to see if you watch the video in its entirety. So I want you to write adrenaline. I shall see you next time.